Incremental games are a genre of games which feature a timed approach whereby you earn units to progress through the game by a combination of some interactive mechanic and passage of time. Based on these accrued units, you can gain abilities and develop or overcome limits to improve your avatar or state in the game. These are some of the most engaging text-based incremental browser games out there. All you need is a browser with internet access and some time to spare. See what you can accomplish with just some text, time, and gumption. Let's check them out. Chickens, this is a very minimalistic looking game and that's a lot saying for a text-based incremental game. No filler, no distractions, just a singular button called Slay Chicken. Points deducted because there's no context whatsoever, implicit or explicit. So ease of starting is 7 out of 10. After the initial few slayings, you will get some menu options at top, one for base and one for menu. After which it becomes a bit more easier to play. The game does have an embedded narrative which is somewhat evident, but after the first initial few upgrades it becomes somewhat unwieldy to see what asset begets which and how to actually go about increasing your gathered resources. It can quickly overwhelm most but the steadfast of players. Resource generation is only limited by the time you have and clicking on buttons which time down. Playability 6 out of 10. Intuitiveness 5 out of 10. Owing to the nature of the player having to take the reins, seek more detail and direct what gets produced, this game gets a boost in the engagement rating. The lack of clear guides and directives means that you'll need to up the level of cognizance to not only stay on top of the game, literally, but make sure you're utilizing the resources you've painstakingly gathered properly. Engagement 8 out of 10. Overall score of 7 out of 10. Build your coop, form an empire, what happens is entirely up to you. Swarmism. Welcome to Swarm Simulator. Starting with just a few larvae and a small pile of meat, grow a massive swarm of giant bugs. You start off with some meat and a hatchery that produces larvae. The larvae can mutate into other types. There's some extra Extraneous software build and other updates as soon as you visit the site, which detracts from just starting though. Ease of starting, 7 out of 10. At the beginning, you'll see that you have three tabs in the gameplay area. The first tab is simply called 35 meat, and the second one a counter for larvae. Basically, the larvae count increases by one every second, and in the meat tab, you have subsections for meat and drones. Drones are the unit which let you upgrade. The rapid clip at which counters update forces you to just keep upgrading with very little active input. This usually happens in most incremental games, but isn't until after you've attained a certain level of upgrades and time spent playing. It will eventually become less noticeable, but after a certain level of autonomous growth, it starts to feel less like a game and more like just watching a simulation. Playability 5 out of 10. Considering there's many text descriptors telling you what everything is and how to upgrade your swarm and capabilities, intuitiveness is quite high. Another very salient feature is the big colorful alerts that let you know what you've unlocked or achieved as you acquire an ability or a new feature. So not quite intuitive per se in the typical sense, but very good nonetheless. Intuitiveness 6 out of 10. Certain aspects increment substantially with upgrades rather than just the one a second which generates urgency to act but does seem to recede into the background after a while. The constancy of such growth means a certain level accumulates after hardly doing anything or paying attention. Where certain games might seem tedious for having the player engage a certain function by clicking or similar actions, it does create the feeling of having achieved it. This game lacks that however, meaning that for the most part this isn't as engaging as others which require active participation. Engagement 3 out of 10. Overall 5 out of 10. This might suit people who would like to start and set a course of growth for certain things and watch things unfold with the least amount of interaction, but other than that it seems to taper off drastically and seems less of a game. Kittens game. You are a kitten in a forest and to survive you need catnip. Such an unassuming title. That is until you start playing and realize that the basis of survival is catnip. Not as sparse as the chickens game. The extraneous UI items could be somewhat distracting but does otherwise lead straight to the point. Context is clearly visible from the text, you are a kitten in a catnip forest, and a visible indicator of what to do with an emboldened button title, gather catnip. Ease is starting, 8 out of 10. With the few presses of the gather catnip button, you're given another option which has a tooltip info indicating what it does and how much catnip you need to achieve it. This is true of all options that are available, and at the top of the play area different regions are exposed as you uncover them, with the secondary line underneath giving you various viewing options of the scales and capabilities under each. You need to continue to gather catnip by constantly clicking or when supplies are being depleted due to adverse conditions if you haven't shored up enough though. When you've achieved self-sufficiency, however, this is no longer an issue. Playability 7 out of 10. The focus narrative and the action drivers coupled with the descriptive buttons and additional tooltip info provide a very high score for intuitiveness. Even though it's indicated that the production rates are affected by seasons, one feature which isn't quite evident is the passing of seasons. It's indicated towards the top and right of the active play area, but the change is so subtle that it's not something you'd know will change or has changed unless you've played this before. So loses one point for that. 
Intuitiveness, 8 out of 10. Gathering is a manual process whereby clicking on the gather catnip button endows you with catnip. This is later elevated to fields which increase the catnip count automatically. Unlike other auto-incremental elements in games such as Swarmism, this level doesn't increase at breakneck speeds and can be depleted in adverse conditions such as winter time, where production levels drop to minus 75% and the number of kittens increases catnip consumed. So this isn't a trigger auto-growth and sit back and blindly click skill up kinda game. You have to actively manage and direct your resources and growth activities, making this a highly engaging title. Engagement 9 out of 10. Overall 8 out of 10. If you can survive the onslaught of winter and make the right decisions and invest in the right skills and kinfolk, create a booming catnip based economy where maybe even the sky won't be the limit. A dark room. The fire is dead, the room is freezing. A dark room starts you off with the leanness of subtext and a call to action. Light fire. The instinctive primal response to being in a dark room certainly kickstarts and drives this narrative without so much as a mental double check. Quite possibly the slickest game starts of the bunch. Ease of starting, 9 out of 10. Initially, there is no automated resource increase or gathering, nor is there the constant repeated clicking action as if most if not all actions are unavailable for a set time after being activated. Slight narrative interludes such as apparent noises or traps being sabotaged leads off on little excursions which might lead to something or just leaves you with more questions. Playability 8 out of 10. The clean layout with the animated transitions between sections of gameplay makes things very straightforward and gives a sense of entering or leaving areas. There are only two main areas at any one time which you can switch between, the first being the point you started from, a home base if you will, and the second one constantly morphing based on what you build up. Intuitiveness 8 out of 10. Engagement levels are high initially but after building up a small community you can divvy up tasks which means that the repetitive gathering mechanic takes a side seat. This is done in a very subtle way which neither overwhelms nor is there a sense of emergency or constant steering required to prevent potential shortages or pitfalls. Engagement 9 out of 10. Overall 9 out of 10. Quite an engaging and immersive title. A rustic setting to get you started, see what you can build and learn as you go along. Drowning, probably one of the most terse starts ever. Just a line saying there is nothing. And a button beckoning you to solve. Quick to start but not quite intuitive. Ease of starting, 8 out of 10. After you gain some mental footing as to what is happening, it quickly gives you some options to grow and expand the normal path of human development. Each task you need to click to complete, you gain something, and you have more tasks to complete as a consequence. This builds up quickly and keeping track of what you've gained and what you need to undertake becomes slightly overwhelming relatively quickly. But a quick eye at the indicators and somewhat automatic hasty clicking generates whatever properties you need to accumulate to level up and progress. It just seems to stack up more and more responsibilities, which you'll need to blindly keep clicking. So a sort of apropos nod to real life, but gameplay wise, it becomes highly tedious. Playability 6 out of 10. The start could be deemed not very intuitive, but the build up immediately after does present very clear signs and indicators as to what is happening. From the moment you are born and start to course a path through growing up. There is further disorientation as more qualities are unearthed as you level up and it's not easy to keep track of everything nor what begets what. Intuitiveness 6 out of 10. Very high on the engagement aspect but not the good kind. The overall presentation is very neat and tightly packaged but the accumulation of points and way to achieve them becomes unwieldy almost immediately after starting and does not seem to offer any assistance or let up like say the cycle of seasons is in the kittens game. Engagement 4 out of 10. Overall 6 out of 10. The concept is very good and seemingly so is the execution, but a more intuitive user interaction and a way to present the information and what they afford is needed for this title. Otherwise it becomes an exercise in blind clicking. Maybe that is the intention of the game. You're paddling non-stop to prevent drowning. An apt metaphor for life. That about does it. Let me know in the comments if you ever heard or played any of these games. Links can be found in the description if you want to check them out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share the video to help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.